Five. Three. Okay, we're on. So ten twenty-six. It's Friday, yay. Okay, so it says grab a graphics calculator, which I assume you guys have. <coughs> okay. So example one, a store sells trampolines. The table shows the number of trampolines sold during the consecutive years. Make a scatter plot. So you can see that they've got a good business because they're selling more and more and more. It's like one of those startup businesses and all of a sudden it's booming. It's good business, okay? So they're growing at an exponential rate. And if you're a business, that is awesome. Yeah. If you're growing at an exponential rate, you have a good thing going. Does that make sense? You're, you're getting big. You're making some money. So let's go ahead and put a scatter plot. So um, I'll probably go by tens on my Y. So this is going to be my trampolines. Tramps. I knew you guys would like that. <laughs> I just knew it. I knew I'd get yeah. 60, 70, 80, 90. And go by ones. This is going to be years. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and graph this in. <coughs> Year one is about 12, is about there. Year two is 16. Year three is 25. Four is 36, is about there. Five is about 50. Yeah, it looks like it's starting to curve, doesn't it? Six is 67. Eight is up to about, whoops, I don't have a seven, is about 96, which is about there. Okay, it looks like it's a curve, doesn't it? Looks to me like it's got the same shape as an exponential. You guys see that? It definitely looks exponential to me. And so, um, so I need to find an equation. Let's let the calculator do it. But before I do too much, I do know, I believe it's exponential. Looks like an exponential growth. <coughs> so, I'm going to go to my calculator on. I'm going to go to stat and edit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put in my numbers. And so we clear my old data in list two. Okay, so I'm putting in my 12, 16, 25, 36, 50, 67, 96. Okay, got them all in. Am I going too fast? I'm okay. Okay, looking for the exponential, so I'll let you get caught up. So once you get the data in, we want to calculate our answer, so we're going to go back to stat and we're going to go to calculate right and the one we're looking for is our exponential regression so I'm going to go and go back to stat over to calculate and I'm looking for my exponential so it's not there it's not there but there it is exponential reg right that's the button I want that's the function I want so push enter Okay, list one, list two, blah, 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 blah. I want to go to calculate. Okay, and there we go. Yeah, X, X, yeah. And so I get an answer about Y equals, so A is about 8.457, right? The base is about 1.4, so I'll round a little bit, but... Um, I'm going to put down a y equals about an 8.46 times about a 1.42 to the x power. Okay, that's that's my function. Okay. So then, use your model to find the sales at 10 years. Well, that's pretty easy. Just plug it in, right? So I'm going to plug in 10. I'm going to plug. In my 10, I'm going to plug my 10 right into X, right, to get what the sales will be at 10 years. We'll go Y equals 8.46 times a 1.42 to the 10 power, right? 
And I'll just plug that into my calculator. I'll let my calculator do the work. 8.46 times parentheses 1.42 to the power of 10, right? Hmm? 282. Yeah, 282. So we're going to sell 282 trampolines in year 10. That's not bad. Okay, so we're growing. We're growing, we're growing. So now, somebody might say, hey, when did you guys reach 200 per year? I say, well, okay. How did I get to 200? So 200's got to be the number, right? That's got to be my y value. So we're going to set y equal. So we're going we're gonna to let y equal 200. <coughs> so in my equation, I'm going to go to 200 equals 8.46 times a 1.42 to the x power, okay? And I'll step back and let you catch up, okay? How am I doing? Yeah, I'll let you catch up. Because I want everybody to see this next step, right? Okay. Now, if you want to solve for the exponent, you need logarithms. I'll say it again. If you want to solve for the exponent, you got to have logarithms, okay? So let me first, we're going to tidy it up first, I'm going to get rid of the 8.46, 8.46, and then I'm going to use a logarithm, okay? So let's go ahead and divide by 8.46, divide by 8.46. So okay, what is 200 divided by 8.46? And I get an answer about 23.64 equals a 1.42 to the x power, okay? Now, I'll step back again. So I have it in exponential form, and I'm going to change it to log form because that'll bring the x down, right? That'll bring the x down. So I'm going to go from exponential to log because that'll bring my x down, which is my exponent. So I'm going to rewrite this in log form. So I'm going to go log base, actually the other way around, log base 1.42 of 23.64 equals x, okay? Now the calculators can do this. They really can, because you can go to that log base button I showed you. So I can go to my math, right? And I'm looking for that log base button, so I'm gonna go and I find my log base. You guys see the log base? Yeah, everybody with me? Log base, everybody there? Yeah. Enter. Now the base I want is at 1.42 of my 23.64, right? And just let the calculator do the work, right? Enter, I get about nine, about 9.02, or we'll just round to nine. So it's gonna take nine years, so <coughs> nine years. Okay, not too bad, right? You guys can let the calculator do the work for you. Couldn't you just plug in 10 to the, or I mean nine to the equation and see if nine will do it? That is what guess and check always works, Seth, yes. Guess and check always works, right? Yeah. But sometimes guess and check is a long way. You kind of had an idea because you knew what 10 was, right? Yeah. So, yeah, absolutely. Guess and check will work. Okay. You guys ready to turn the page? Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Okay. Now, Seth, with his big brain, was thinking, hey, <laughs> I knew big, big that brain. 10, he knew that 10 gave him 182, so he's thinking, hey, maybe it was 9, so he could have guessed and checked, right? Makes sense. You knew it was less than 10, didn't you? Yeah. But I like to do the logs. For me, it's easier than guess and check. But you absolutely could. Okay, right? So on the back side, okay, example two. So the height of a tree increases with age. The table shows the ages and heights of the trees starting um, at, at year one, at on year one, at 5.5 feet. Now think about this. We, I mean, we all know about trees. They, they, they're like people, right? They go really fast in the beginning, but then they slowly slow down, right? <coughs> so if you think about it, their growth rate should look like this, right? They're gonna grow, but you know, when they're super tall, they start to slow down and grow, right? So it should be a log function. So let's graph it first, okay? So I'm gonna go my age, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <coughs> 10. Um, yeah, we'll get there, okay? So we'll go by ones, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14. So this is the age of a tree. And then the height. 
Oh, I gotta get to 25. So I could buy, go by twos. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. Mm, maybe I'll we'll go by fives. I'll go by fives. Height. I could go by fours. That would like confuse me, but I could go by fours. Yeah, five is easier. No, but you're right, Seth. We could go by fours. We'd go by threes too. Even threes would work, but then it just that would just confuse me, right? I'll go by fives. Make it easy. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Maybe fours would have been better, or even threes. But or you know what? Like I'm gonna stay with what we have. But you know, I kind of like the ideas of going by threes. But I'll stick. I'll stay there. Okay. So if I do a scatter plot, I've got year one is about five point five. Year four is about a 15 point, um, five is maybe about there. Year six is about a 19. Um, year 10 is about 23, right? 23 is about, about there. And year 14 is about 26, okay? Okay, so yeah, it definitely looks like a log graph to me, okay? I believe it's a log graph, okay? Our calculator, though, we want to use ln as our log feature. So we want to use is some y equals some ln of x. Okay, that's the feature I want to do because that's the best log graph to use, especially on something that grows. We've talked about the number e is the, is the number they call the natural log because it's the number that works in nature. So this is nature. Let's use the natural log, right? So I'm going to go to stat. I'm going to put all my, all my stuff in. And then I'll eventually go to calculate, and I'll find the ln regression button, OK? That's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go to stat, and I'm going to go to edit, clear, clear, and we're going to go 1, 4, 6, 10, 12, and 14, okay? And then on the other one, we've got a 5.5, 15.5, 5, 19, 0.75, 23, 25, <coughs> and 26, okay? Okay, now, what I need to do then is go to my, am I going too fast? Because I want you to see this next part. So the next part, we're going to go, and I'll wait for you. Wait till you get it in. Because we're going to try and find that log regression. I want to find this. I'm going to find that button right now. Okay, the ln ro log regression. regression? Ln, yeah. It's a log ln regression, okay? <coughs> so we're going to go highlight it so you guys see it. Yep, so we're going to go to stat again. Calculate. How am I doing? Okay. Let me see. You, like, you, like edit. you put edit. No, I put a stat. Oh. So, We'll wait for Parker. I want to make sure Parker knows how to do this. Okay, so Parker, once you get him in, you go back to stat, right? And then you go over to calculate because I want to calculate an answer, right? And now I'm looking for this LN reg. So I'm going to go down until I find it. There it is. LN, which means the natural log regression line. Enter. Okay, list one, list two. I'm going to go down and calculate, right? Am I going too fast? Okay, so here it is. It's going to give me an answer. So it gives me A, which is 5.3. I'm going to put that right there. And it gives me 7.8. Yes, yeah, like around that. Um, is B. So put that there. So my equation is going to be Y equals 5.3 plus 7.8 ln of X. Okay, that's my equation. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. So then, use your model to predict the height after 20 years. So we're going to plug in. We're just going to plug in 20, okay? So plug in 20. 
use my calculator and go, okay, y equals 5.3 plus 7.8 ln of 20, right? Yeah, yeah, so I'm just going to plug it in my cup. I'm just going to go just like this, Seth. I'm going to go 5.3 plus 7.8 ln of 20. That's it. See, I got that in my calculator. I just plugged it in. My, so I just plugged it right in my calculator. I've got my 5.3 plus 7.8 <coughs> ln of 20, right? All right. Enter, and again, it's about 28.66. So that would be the height of the tree, 28.66 feet. So after 20 years, that's how tall my tree is, right? And finally, am I going too fast? Finally, okay, at what year? So X is the years, right? So will it reach 50 is the height? So I'm going to go, okay, 50 equals. So plug that in for Y, for Y. So 50 is equal to my 5.3 plus my 7.8 ln of x, okay, All right? Now, so I plug the 50 in for y, because that's the height of the tree. And what I have to do now is figure out what the year is, which is x. So let's solve it. So let's get rid of, let's tidy it up. Divide by 5.3. Well, let's subtract 5.3, and then we will divide by the 7.8 next. That makes sense? Let's so get rid of these numbers first. So I'm going to get rid of the 7 point, minus 5.3. Minus 5.3, what is 50? 40. Yeah, 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 44 points. Big brain, 7.8 ln of x. Divide, right? You guys agree? Divide by 7.8, divide by 7.8, divide by 7.8. And I get an answer about 5.73 equals ln of x. Okay, now here's the big trick. Here's the big trick. We're going to go from a logarithm, we're going to get rid of the ln. We're going to get rid of the ln. To get rid of the ln, we're going to change it to an exponent, right? What's the base? What's the invisible base? E, e right? So the invisible base is E, right? So I'm going to go E to the 5.3 power. So I'm going to rewrite as E to the 5.73 is equal to x. So I change it from log form to exponential form. And I'm just going to use my calculator, okay? What does my calculator say? I'm going to go e to the power of my 5.73 and I get an answer about 308 years. Woo! Right? It takes a long time for trees to get that big, doesn't it? We got a few of them in town that big and that old. Some of them are coming down too and crashing into houses. That's not good, right? We've had several come down and crash into houses this last year, haven't we? There was one uh, 